have been singing and playing for over 30 years, but Brian Adams still gets excited about making and selling records. Look at that. This is my, uh, my first gold record for this album. I'm really surprised. Thank, thank you very much. Wow, it's amazing. I, it's obvious. Uh, I guess I should say that I think that Peruvians have very good taste. The Canadian rocker was in South America to promote his 11th studio album, simply titled Eleven. 17 years after scoring a worldwide number one and a Grammy Award for Everything I Do, I Do It For You, he was taking a different approach to his music, recording tracks backstage and in hotel rooms while on tour, and releasing albums independently. I know already that we're better off here doing it myself than I was um, with a label beforehand because um, the previous album I put out here, which was called Room Service, um, we're already, our advances on this album are, are four times as much, you know, and it's four times the interest just by doing it ourselves because we're creating our own buzz. And he was full of advice for younger artists starting out on their recording careers. Uh, it's really time for artists to get the control of what they're doing and, and take control and appreciate how, what it takes to get move, to move forward. When I think about the years gone by, how much I didn't un really understand how much was, you know, went behind the scenes in making, uh, you know, in promoting a record. And now that it, so I've been sort of independent for about four or five years, and and it's it's quite amazing the difference of being able to actually be in control of everything. Part of the grand plan to publicize Eleven was to stage a tour that took in 11 countries in 11 days. The mini tour saw Brian performing an acoustic set with just his guitar and harmonica. There's a large um, and very broad audience when, I, when I'm performing, just, just, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't even want to speculate, you know. Mum's bringing their daughters, daughters bringing their boyfriends, boyfriends bringing their girlfriends. Girlfriends bringing their sisters, you know, I mean, it's, it's everybody's out there. But even if nobody were out there, Brian would just keep on doing his thing. I wouldn't say it's an addiction, but there's something that happens when you are a songwriter that it's quite exciting to be able to create again and get something new started. So, you know, this album's done, but I'm already thinking about what to do next. and. That's just how it goes. I think, I think it happens for people that make films and write books and anyone that's in the writing process, they always have that you know, desire to keep trying to do something else. <laughs>